Hey guys, Jason Scudelari here, and I'm underneath our F100 project truck. And, you know, recently we've done some upgrades like AC. I just finished up putting in a uh, 200 4R transmission, and I'm going to show you guys step by step how to measure for a drive shaft properly. First thing I did was simulated ride height, so I loaded the rear end, first putting uh, stands under the front, just that way we can uh, balance it out. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to measure from the face of the seal to the rear end. So it's like that, this would be half of your uh, U-joint um, where it rides in there. So let's go ahead and do that first. And that first measurement is 59 and 3 quarter. So I'll go ahead and mark that down. Okay, this is a sheet I got from the guys that are going to make our drive shaft, and it's pretty basic stuff. And our next one is we're going to see how much of the output shaft sticks out past the seal. And that I have five eighths of an inch. Um, go down B8. We're not using we're not using electronic trans. Uh, next one is we're going to measure. If we have tabs on our rear end, we're going to measure in between the tabs. If not, we're going to measure the full distance. So let's see what we got on this one. This one does have tabs, so they're right there. So let's go ahead and get that in there. That is one, two, three and a quarter. So three and a quarter here. And there we got an almost looks like. And it's about an inch, it's an inch and a sixteenth there. Inch and a sixteenth. Okay. And that's basically what they're doing. And they're going to ask for, uh, let's see here, circle one, circle one. These are just different types of uh, transmissions. Ours is a 204R, so we'll let them know that. Um, I think that's about all the measurements we're going to need to get this tri shaft made properly, and we're just going to use steel, nothing fancy, no aluminum or carbon fiber, nothing like that, uh, just something simple and cheap. Let's go ahead and put our drive shaft in. We had this made up. Hopefully I measured right. There's that. Perfect. Just like it should. Yeah, got about three quarters of an inch out. It will compress in a little bit with the suspension travel, but it looked like we're good to go. I had the suspension compressed when I measured it, so we should be good to go. All right, drive shaft's in.